Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. Going to do a video today. Hope you find it to be a blessing. Everyone talks about the Gog and the Magog. And who are they? And when is it going to be? We're going to take a quick look. I've done a couple of videos in the past. This one's going to be a little different. But I think it'll show you some things that are interesting. So everyone buys and understands Revelation 19 and 20 is in order. But Ezekiel 38 and 39 in order. We're going to look at that as well. New to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up. We're a group of Bible-believing Christians rightly dividing the word of truth. And we're looking forward to our blessed hope. But most importantly, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ here in the church age. One sin can send you to hell. And Jesus Christ paid the price, shedding his blood on the cross. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4, where he died and he was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the gospel of our salvation. What do you need to do to be saved? You need to count on that and trust on that for the remission and forgiveness of your sins, past, present, future. They can all be washed away and not be accounted to you. You'll be seen righteous in the eyes of God. Amen. And that can be, you'll receive the Holy Spirit. You'll become a new creature and you'll be, and you'll be saved forever. Romans 10, 9 and 10, you believe with your heart, confess with your mouth to salvation. And Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it's a free gift, lest any man can boast. Ezekiel 38, 2, son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the, the prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophecy against him. We're going to look at the chapter. We're going to come down here and we're going to see a few things interesting. So most people would assume, okay, it's one war. I'm going to tell you it's two. But what we're going to see, first of more, is how the battle comes about and what happened. If we look at verse 22, we see how it comes to an end. Is equal 38. And I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands, that's the people you see in the beginning of Ezekiel 38, and upon the many people that are with him, an overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. That sounds like Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone. And so we see the Lord here pouring down, this is God the Father, pouring down this rain of hailstone, fire and brimstone. That's interesting. That's Ezekiel 38. Would that match Revela Revelation 20? Which would you, be you would believe is in order, right? And we'll, it'll also, Revelation 20 will tell us a time frame. And, and we don't have to guess. We don't have to try to find a million verses to figure out where we are in the timeline. Let's take a look. Go to Revelation 20. What do we see? Verse 2, And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. So we see here in Revelation 20, he's bounded up. And then if we go down a little bit further, what we'll find out, verse 7, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed from out of his prison and shall go out and deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of earth, Gog and Magog. This is the end of the millennial reign. So he's going to come out and gather troops. And they went on the bread of the earth, verse 9, and they compassed the camp of the saints about the beloved city, that's Jerusalem. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Now, that's a much different ending than the Battle of Armageddon. The Battle of Armageddon, which most people would believe, okay, it's Revelation 19, makes a lot of sense. Let's see that ending. Things that aren't the same in the Bible, they're just not the same story. Let's look at Revelation 19. And we see in 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, and white and clean. So we follow Jesus. You can see in verse 13, he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. That's Jesus Christ. Verse 12, we see his crowns. So what happens? And we see in verse 18, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and them that sit on them and the flesh of all men bound free and bond, both small and great. So we see the way that they're consumed. There is a battle and there is a destruction of an army, just like the battle of Armageddon. Jesus Christ is leading out an army of saints. That would be the church. That's at the end of the tribulation. Let's see if that matches, by chance, Ezekiel 30, 39. Ezekiel 39. And if we see that, that it doesn't match with Ezekiel 39, and I've done studies on this before, but Ezekiel 39 doesn't match. So we, got, we have in the first one, we have Gog and Magog again. And you have the Prince of Meshach and Tubal. That's, that's like... Ukraine, Russia, Turkey, and Georgia, like that area. It's sons, if you look that up, it's sons of Japheth. The other group was a more diverse group towards the end. 
But this is a certain area in the north. And, the, and you can see, thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands. So again, we see these great armies, these bands. So that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any of the forest. For they shall burn the weapons with fire. So you can see here, there's a cleanup. And that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel. So there's gonna there's a burial happening. Where in the the end of the millennial, it's just burnt up with a fervent heat before the great white throne judgment. What do we see when we go further down? Verse 18. You shall eat a flesh of mighty and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, rams, lambs, goats, bullocks, and all them fatlings of Basham. And there's a sacrifice here in verse 19. And to fill that feast table with horses and chariots, in verse 20, with mighty men and with all men of war, saith the Lord. So again, we, we see a different ending. This matches the battle of Armageddon and how they're devoured. And if we look at the group, again, I told you the group is Russia, Georgia, Turkey. And that is the group that's going to come at the end of the tribulation, the 200 million man army that Jesus Christ will destroy and Revel Revelation 19 goes with Ezekiel 39. And Revelation 20, which is at the end of the Millennial Kingdom, is the Gog and Magog War with fire coming down after Satan is loosed at the end of the Millennium and gathers the forces from the four corners. Thus concludes the group of people that we should be looking for today is Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Turkey, for the most part, and those bands in that northern direction to be the ones that are forming together an alliance against Jerusalem. And we see today oil prices going up and Israel competing with Russia. We do see hostility between the areas north of Israel with Israel. Hope this is a blessing. God bless. Have a great day.